all right so uh last video i got cut off there at the 10 minute mark but um that was just showing you really quick some of the things that the uh the torque app does um i'll show you how to read uh codes really quick now uh if i do have any codes it might be for uh 202 sensor heater banks um I seen the beginning that code lately. The O2s are still working fine, but uh, the heaters are a bit sluggish. Uh, as you can see, it's not the fastest in the world when it comes to reading codes. Uh, it takes maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds or so uh, to read them. So here we go. So sure enough, O2 uh, heater circuit. Bank 1, sensor 1, bank 2, sensor 1. So you hit the menu button and you go to clear faults on ECU. You hit OK. And this is a little quicker, in a couple seconds, it'll send the, the command to the ECU and your codes have been erased. So that alone is a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. So uh, just a really quick overview of what it does. Uh, so yes, it does work on American cars if you use the right interface. In this case, on a uh, O2 Corvette. So the app cost me about five bucks. Um, the interface uh, about fifteen, sixteen dollars for. So for twenty to twenty-one dollars, I have uh, a complete setup that's able to uh, read codes, erase them, data log the car. Uh, also, uh, if you choose to, to data log, here let me show you really quick. You go to where your gauges are and one of your options is start logging. So you would hit start logging and it's going to start recording uh, all the gauges that you can go to a menu and choose for it to read and then you can hit stop logging and simply email logs and it'll send you the uh, the log to your email or you can go to the settings and have it automatically sent to uh, Torx online server so you can look at your uh, your data logs online through their server so I thought that was pretty cool I, I tested that out yesterday and uh, it worked just perfectly so uh, definitely way worth the money in fact it's super cheap for what it does um, I thought I had wasted another 15 bucks on this since it didn't work but I was able to use it on my other cars and that's super glue because I opened it up to look at the inside also I dropped it and the circuit board came loose and it wasn't working so I opened it up and snapped it back together now it works again so at the same time these are Chinese so they're not going to be the sturdiest in the world so I suggest you don't drop them uh, but other than that they work uh, pretty well so I hope you guys have the same luck and enjoy the app